Hey guys, hello, my name is Em and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it is going to be a 48 hour readathon vlog. This readathon is for Bookopolathon, which is hosted by Becca and the Book. This readathon starts at midnight tonight. I am doing my intro beforehand just because I know at midnight tonight I'm probably going to be in bed in my pajamas, not really prepared to come onto camera. So essentially, this readathon is a 48 hour readathon starting tonight at midnight GMT, going until Sunday, I presume, at midnight. I'm very excited. With this readathon, you get a new prompt every 12 hours hours which is really exciting because you can't really plan your TBR. I have a couple books in mind but obviously I don't know what the prompts are going to be. I think in total there's going to be eight prompts because there's going to be four roll drops with two prompts per drop or you can double up and do four books. I mean I really want to go hard with this readathon but I have had a migraine for the past couple of days. I don't want to push myself too too hard and get that back so we're going to be taking it a little bit easy but also trying to get through a lot of books. So we actually do know the first two prompts because they were released in the announcement video and they come into effect from midnight tonight so that is what I'm going to be starting on. So the first two prompts are read a book with a dark cover and read a fantasy book. Most fantasy books actually do have very dark covers but the one that I am thinking about going for is Monsters Volume 1. This is a very very short book which is perfect for midnight. I don't think I'm ready to stay up all night. I might stay up a little bit later tomorrow night than tonight. When I wake up in the morning I am pretty much busy until about midday which is when the next prompt comes out so I actually need to complete this prompt before going to sleep tonight which is why I'm picking a nice short graphic novel. This is a fantasy graphic novel. This also has a very dark cover so I'm very excited. If I decide to read two books for the first two prompts I am going to be using this for the dark cover one and then I'm hopefully going to use The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller for the fantasy book prompt but more than likely I will be doubling up and using this for both prompts. So yeah, as I said, I have a couple other ideas of books that I do want to incorporate into this readathon, preferably fantasy because I'm in a fantasy mood, but also shorter books because I really don't have the attention span and concentration to pick up really chunky books right now. So one of them is The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. This is an enemies to lovers. She has been sent to kill the king but she accidentally falls in love with him. I don't know the full story but all I've heard is she's a badass and she is the morally grey character which usually in YA books doesn't happen because it's usually the girl is like really timid or whatever and then the guy is morally grey but this time it's the other way around and I am very excited to read this. Plus it is just over 300 pages. What I've heard is it is very very fast paced and you won't be able to put it down which is perfect. So I might start this tonight and then read it throughout the weekend. We'll see. Another tentative option for this weekend is Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. So obviously this TBR is very likely to change with the different prompts and the roll drops as it goes on for the weekend but I'm very very excited. I might take a nap beforehand. Also, this readathon is completely live over multiple different people's booktube channels. There's going to be a live stream with reading sprints the whole time. So that is probably going to motivate me a lot to read and I'm very excited. I also started a support chat on Instagram to kind of keep us going and keep us motivated through the whole weekend. So yeah, that is it. I'm very excited. I will come back at midnight when the readathon has begun, hopefully starting my first book, which is going to be Monstrous Volume 1. I will definitely be needing a lot of snacks, a lot of caffeine. I don't know. I'm just going to be trying to make everything out of this readathon because I'm really, really excited. So yeah, that is it. I will come back Back at midnight when the readathon is beginning. Hello guys. Okay, it is now 1 a.m. We're an hour into the readathon and I'm watching Becca's reading sprints. I am getting a little bit tired. I have had a cup of coffee, but coffee doesn't really 
affect me that much so i'm still pretty tired but i did just finish my first book of the readathon i just finished monstrous volume one i think i'm gonna give this a one star or a two star i'm so disappointed in this book bearing in mind i did skim read parts of this so take my review with a pinch of salt because i do intend to read back over it sometime in the future maybe take in a little bit more this was just so grim so gruesome so dark and I really didn't like it, which is sad because I really did think I was going to, but I'm glad I read it. I'm glad I have it done. That could be my first two prompts done. However, I think I am going to start another book. I'm thinking The Shadows Between Us. The only good thing about this, there was a character in here who looked like a little fox. His tail was cute. That's the only good thing that I can genuinely pick out from this book. So this fox. Also, I told my mum I was participating in this readathon and she got so into it. She doesn't read. She brought out a duvet to the couch. Misty is here and also made me a coffee and brought biscuits and it's just so cute. And she was also watching some of the sprints and just being like, oh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited for you. And honestly, it was the most wholesome thing ever. So yeah, I'm going to keep watching the sprints for another little while pick up a book and yeah we'll see how we go from there there's still 18 minutes left on the sprint so i would like to start another book can we talk about how my nails my cardigan and my book all kind of match i mean i know they're different shades but we love to see it also this is the bookmark that my mom picked out for me to read so we're going with that one i think i'm going to start with shadows between us and see how we go Okay, it's literally 1.40 in the morning and I said to myself, I'm gonna stay here because I'm still in the living room. I'm gonna stay here for the next sprint and then go to bed. A girl, this sprint is for 50 freaking minutes. I don't know if I can do that, but you know what? We're gonna be optimistic. We're gonna try because it's literally 1.30 in the morning. Some people are staying up this whole time, but I am going to hopefully read for this full 48 minutes that are left. I'm also loving our support chat. We're all so hyped and so funny, but also so tired. And we're just talking about buying a book. I've literally reached chapter two and I'm obsessed already like that chapter was so good and for once it's like the girl is the morally gray ooh, is the morally gray character and like she's a killer but like not a bad killer well I don't know if there's any good killers it's 2 a.m. I don't think there is but in books I mean Hey besties, okay, it's now 2.43 in the morning, I've read 60 pages of The Shadows Between Us. I was really gonna say To All The Boys I've Loved Before There, which they're so drastically different. So I'm going to go to bed right now because I physically cannot stay awake any longer, but I'm gonna hopefully wake up early-ish tomorrow. I think I won't get much reading done before the next roll drop because I do have some things to do tomorrow morning, but after that I'm free for like the whole weekend, which is amazing. I am freaking loving this book so far, getting very much five star vibes from it already. <laughs> Hello guys, good morning. It is now 11.40 in the morning. I am back in bed, but I was up this morning because we had to get our grocery deliveries and sort all of that out. So I haven't actually gotten to read yet this morning, but I have just picked back up The Shadows Between Us and I'm about to read it. There's 12 minutes left in this sprint and at 12 o'clock we're getting our next prompt. So we're gonna see how fast I can read. Hello guys, it is now 12.45 and I was just reading on my iPad which is why I have my blue light glasses on because I'm taking no chances with migraines. So we had the second roll drop a couple of minutes ago, I think about half an hour ago actually, and it was to read a book with POC rep and to read a contemporary. Not too happy about the contemporary prompt because I really don't like reading 
contemporary books but i have finished another book so the book that i finished is goldie vance volume one which i'm reading for the book with poc rep because the main character and a couple of side characters are black so that works for that one technically it will work for a contemporary prompt but because i still have until midnight for another prompt i do kind of want to read a book per prompt so i'm planning right now to sit down and read as much of the shadows between us as i can try to finish it and then if i have time i might pick up a contemporary either like a graphic novel or a short book we'll see i'm just not the biggest lover of contemporary books in general but they did say that contemporary can be very interpretive so if it's just a book that doesn't have magic so we'll see but for right now i'm going to continue reading this i've already finished my second book of the readathon yes they've both been graphic novels but i'm not sorry about that i'm so tired and it's literally 1 p.m like why am i tired i don't know but i am so i'm going to read for another little while maybe do another sprint and then i might go for a walk or do something like that to kind of wake myself up a little bit Hello guys, okay it is now 5pm and I am still reading The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I am thoroughly enjoying this book. I think it's really perfect for a readathon because it's a very very fast paced fantasy. Though it's a fantasy book, there's no like magic system or really complex kind of world rules or anything that you need to understand in order to read the book. It is currently 6 minutes past 8 in the evening and I am just going to go through a little bit of my plans for the rest of this readathon or the rest of today. I'm on page 177 of The Shadows Between Us and I'm loving it. This book is so good. It's quite like feminist. I would say that I would probably enjoy it a little bit more if it was a little bit more centered towards new adults or adults than YA simply because I feel like there's a lot of potential for this book but we're not actually getting any of that like steam or anything like that. So other than that this book is literal perfection. It kind of has the trope of like I would kill everyone in the world to save you type of vibe in real life toxic in book life angelic so i yeah i don't know what to say other than i'm loving this so right now as i said it is 8 p.m my mom is currently at an online concert for like irish kaylee music that is not my type of thing so i'm not watching it i'm hoping to finish the shadows between us right now or as soon as i can and after her concert we're going to go for a walk so yes it is going to be late it is dark but we're going to go for a walk hopefully to try and keep our energy levels up and just to like wake us up with some fresh air that is what we need to do the next roll drop is at 12 o'clock tonight so i've 100 decided to count the graphic novel i read earlier for the contemporary prompt as well simply because i don't want to read a contemporary plus the chances of me finishing two books before midnight is very unlikely i'm gonna try and stay up as late as i possibly can i would say i would do an all-nighter but i know if i do an all-nighter i won't read anything tomorrow and i know that i will be more comprehensive to what i'm reading tomorrow so i'm probably just gonna stay up a little bit later tonight and read maybe finish one book depends on like what the prompt is and what book i'm reading i do also have mini eggs here this is the tiniest bag but i mean it did come with an easter egg which i did also eat so i mean guess it's okay okay it is now 9 p.m i have not really read any more about to go on a walk with my mom to get some fresh air and hopefully it will re-energize me misty is asleep at the end of my bed with my book hi guys hello we we're just back from our walk thought i would update i'm here with misty we're laying down we ended up walking like 5k which was fun um but i'm so exhausted like i don't know why i thought exercise would wake me up i'm so exhausted so i'm probably gonna lay down and read for a little while okay so it is now 11 40 almost midnight almost time for the next sprint and the next roll drop but i am on chapter 24 of the shadows between us which is page 259 I am freaking obsessed with this book so much but I'm going to take a quick break right now because I think I'm gonna get up and make myself a cup of coffee just to give myself that little bit of energy um even though coffee tends to make me quite sleepy but it'd be just like a nice little drink I guess I might relocate to the living room 
but I haven't decided yet. I have like 50 pages left. But I'm so proud of myself for reading this whole thing in like less than a day. How perfect is my setup right now? I've got the reading sprints ready to go. I have my couch with like a duvet on it, which is so comfortable, and my book. Then I have a coffee and a blueberry muffin. <laughs> Let's see how much I can read because this is like slumber party vibes and I'm here for it. Misty has now joined me. Are we ready to read? Oh my god, her eyes look like completely black. That's actually freaky. We are officially 24 hours in to the readathon. Oh my god, can we believe it? Okay, it is currently 12.30 and we're just starting the first sprint of this live show. So far, this live show has been the most fun one so far. It is with Gavin and Lexi and it's so good like it's it's so hilarious and we're just sprinting now so we do have the next two prompts and i'm feeling so positive about these prompts so one of them is read the first book in a series the next prompt is a chance card so you pick out some books that you're excited to read some that you're not so excited to read and then random number generate them so we have been in our support chat for this readathon we've been just spamming each other with like picking out books so i'm living for that um i'm so excited so I'm gonna finish Shadows Between Us right now and then I'm gonna do my chance cards. I haven't done it yet, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> Guys, I just read the best freaking scene. It's chapter 24 and like, um, Callias just kind of like discovered something that Alessandra has done and it was just the funniest scene ever. I don't know why I always fall for these scenes in books but I do. I'm loving this book so much. It's like 10 to 2 in the morning and um, I've just finished The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. 5 out of 5 stars. I loved this book so much. If I do think of it very very critically and I do apologize I do have to talk quietly because it is 2 in the morning. If I do think of it very critically the ending was a little bit rushed and there were a couple times during it like it's enemies to lovers but like they're never really enemies it's just that she has in her head that she wants to kill him so that she can like take his crown and his kingdom but she kind of forgets that like that's a side plot the whole way through she mentions it a couple times but like she kind of never has any intention of actually doing it which objectively is not the best but i kind of enjoyed it because i was here for the romance and i was here for like the angst and everything like that go pick this book up i read it in exactly 24 hours i started it like this time last night so i read it in exactly 24 hours and it was so good it was so good so i'm about to go pick out my next prompts okay change of plan because misty has now come out here and settled on my lap so obviously we're waiting a while to go pick out another book okay it is now 2 10 in the morning um thanks to the help of my readathon buddies i have decided that for the chance prompt i was going to say chance card chance prompt i'm going to read an enchantment of ravens by margaret rogerson it was on my possibility pile for this readathon i did really want to read it it is very short and I do think I will get through it fairly fast. For the first book in a series, I've not yet decided which one I'm going to go for that. I low-key want to choose like Kingdom of the Wicked. I know it's going to give me those enemies to lovers vibes, but there's no way I'm going to be able to finish it in this readathon. So maybe that's not a good idea, but that is a problem for tomorrow. These sprints are over at four. Can I stay awake until then? maybe and then go to bed and then hopefully read more tomorrow i'll just see how much i can get into an enchantment of ravens because i am tired but like i'm not like delirious tired yet so we're going good i am gonna get into my pajamas right now and get ready for bed so that when i get so so tired i can let you just go to sleep i'm loving this readathon so much i take part in so many readathons but i don't think i've ever had a better time with it because i'm staying up late i'm like doing all of the readathon things and live readathons are the way to go let me tell you it's the way of the future so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and i will get back to you on that one still reeling from the shadows between us also we love how the cover my cardigan and my nails and my phone i don't know where my phone is it's here 
sides we all match look at that we stand up purple's not even my favorite color but i mean today it can be this vlog is going to be so chaotic but i'm here for it okay it is now 2 40 I've gotten into my pajamas i'm ready to read we're on another sprint until five past three so i'm ready i have my book here i think i might make a hot water bottle because i'm kind of cold <laughs> Hello, happy Sunday. It is currently 1.30 in the afternoon. It is the last day of the book couple -thon. I have had the best weekend. Last night I ended up going to bed at around 4 a.m. which was so late for me and I woke up around 5 and I was just so sick and I was just not feeling it. My mistake was having coffee and a muffin at 2 a.m. Anyways, I got a little bit of sleep. Not a lot but I did get a little bit. We have already gotten our last roll drop so we do have all of our prompts and I'm so so excited about the ones that we've gotten. So the last prompts that we got was read an other genre book meaning don't read a book from the genre that you read all the time and the second one is read a book set in the present so I've actually already completed the other genre book I read a poetry book yes it is historical fiction which I do tend to read a lot of the time but it is also poetry I never read poetry so I read poems from the second world war I think my dad got me this for Christmas and I read it super super fast and it was really good I think I'm gonna give it four stars sometimes I feel like I'm not intelligent enough for poetry because I never understand it I never have the brain capacity to like analyze things I don't do that but I read it really fast and I did actually really enjoy it so technically I could use that for my chance prompt as well so if I don't manage to complete another book by the end of the readathon I will be counting that for my chance prompt but I have three prompts left I have read the first book in a series my chance prompt and read a book set in the present but I did think of the fact that if I read a Mary and the Knight Brothers which is like 300 and something pages it is a middle grade I actually would be able to complete all of the prompts so this might be the one that I do because it is hopefully going to be a fast read from what everybody has said. Jalisa always talks about how amazing this book is and I really do want to read it so I might pick this one up hopefully get to it before midnight and then I will have completed all of the prompts which is absolutely phenomenal. I have had so much fun this weekend. Right now I do have a couple things to do like clean my house a little bit and make Sunday dinner with my mom but other than that I should be able to find time to read. This is less than 400 pages and it is a middle grade. Hey guys hello so it is now 6 34 in the evening. I have finished everything that I need to do for the day as far as I know. I do need to edit a video and plan an Instagram post and things like that but other than that I am pretty much free for the entire evening but I am fairly tired. I haven't really slept great the last two nights so I'm thinking of taking a nap honestly. I know it's like 6 p.m but I do want to watch Becca's sprints from 8 to 12. Um, maybe not the whole thing but I kind of want to. So I might take a nap but I might start a Mary and the Night Brothers. Read a chapter, see what I'm thinking. I might not even choose to read this if I'm not vibing with the verse chapter. Hey guys, hello. It is now Monday, but I am coming on here to end out this weekend vlog. I had so much fun doing the Book Couple Athon readathon. I think it was the most fun readathon that I have participated in this far. In total, I finished four books start to finish and I read 768 pages. Yes, my page count was a little bit lower than my book count simply because a lot of the books I read were shorter books because I am a slow enough reader. So I can't really get through multiple big books in two days, but I had so, so much fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment the book stack emoji if you watched this far. I feel like it's appropriate for this weekend. If you participated, let me know how you did or if you like this vlog, just let's chat in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Stay amazing, stay kind, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.